This is KRQE News 13 at 5.30 in high definition. The attack ads are flying in the governor's race, but all that mudslinging can make it hard to see where they stand on the issues. Tonight, Kim Bias sits down with Diane Dennis and Susanna Martinez to get their views on your kids' education. It started with one ad. Remember this attack ad for Dennis with this teacher? Diane Dennis. She's on our side. There's a reason she did it. Here's her husband. We convicted him. And is turned into a brawl. Susanna Martinez may think she can bully one teacher. But she can't stop all of us. In all that mudslinging, the message of how the candidates plan to improve education has been muddied. So where do they stand? Make sure it's, it's number one goal is smaller class size, um, resources in the classroom and funding quality teachers. Both candidates believe more money is needed in the classroom. Danish wants to revamp the funding formula. Martinez wants to take money from the top. If we readjust just four cents of every dollar and put it into the classroom, we're going to be able to turn around and um, focus $74 million from the bureaucracy of education into the classroom. Both think there needs to be more focus on reading and pre-K, and students need to be better engaged. I believe we have to reach down into middle school for the career cluster experience. Kids want to know why should they stay in high school. And we have to have the public-private partnerships. Martinez thinks more regular testing is necessary. Instead of waiting an entire year for AYP results, find out where a student needs help throughout the year. Are you progressing? Now you're in the middle of the school year. And these are results that come in within days. Both Danish and Martinez believe teachers need to be held more accountable for student achievement. So what about those kids stuck in failing schools? Martinez proposes giving tax credits to businesses that help send them to private schools, an idea that's taking a lot of heat. How you keep it from happening is not to do what my opponent wants to do, which is take money out of public education and put it into private education. Why do just disadvantaged children get stuck in failing schools and those that have the ability can get out so it's not moving tax dollars Kim Baez KRQE News 13 as for where all that education money should come from Dennis is calling for better use of technology and more energy efficiency in schools Martinez proposes analyzing education related expenses and reallocating any waste